Let's start with changing a colour within a theme. In the theme browser, locate the colour you wish to change. To make the edit, either click on it and then click Edit in the Home ribbon, right click over it and select Edit from the context menu, or double click on the colour. Any of these methods opens the Select Colour dialog box. Change the colour and its properties using either the RGB or HSB modal tab. Here the colour can be changed by either clicking in the relevant colour picker, adjusting the red, green and blue figures, or entering a hex number for the colour. Remember the Find Colour tool can be used to discover an existing colour's hex number. Opacity relates to transparency of a colour and is adjusted using either the Opacity slider or direct entry in the Opacity value field. The results of any editing are displayed in the Sample display box. Click on OK to apply changes or cancel to discard them. Now let's take a look at how to replace a background image rather than just adjust the existing one. Use the theme browser to locate the background image to be changed. We're going to change both the vertical and horizontal zoom background graphics. Click on an image to select it and either select Import Item from the Home ribbon or right click and select Import from the right click context menu. This opens a system file browser. Navigate to the image to be imported, select it and click on Open. Note it's only possible to import images with the same dimensions as the original. Once the images have been imported, the theme needs to be saved for the changes to take effect. Note that a theme cannot be saved if already open in Sonar. Either close Sonar or change the theme to save it. Once saved, it can then be reopened in Sonar to see the changes in context. Similarly, track icons can be changed. Either edit an existing icon or import a new one using the method we've just seen with a background image. Let's edit the MIDI track icon. Navigate the theme browser to icons and then the track icons. Open the MIDI icon for editing by selecting and choosing Edit from the Home ribbon or the right click context menu or simply double click on it. The icon opens in Paint.net. Zoom in to make editing easier. Choose that option from the View menu or use the keyboard shortcut of Control and the plus sign. Areas of existing graphics can be selected and moved. Let's choose the Rectangle Select key and select the main MIDI plug shape. To move the selected pixels, select the Move Selected Pixels tool and drag the selected area down to the bottom of the graphic. That leaves a transparent area where the top of the selection was indicated by the checkerboard effect. Deselect the selection by pressing the escape key. Choose the color picker tool and select the main color used in the rest of the icon. Swap to the paint bucket tool and fill the transparent area by clicking in it. Now let's add some text. Change the current primary color by either selecting a new one from the color picker or click on the Swap Colors icon in the picker to switch the primary and secondary colors. Click on the Text tool and choose a suitable size and font type in the Tool Properties bar. Click in the icon to position the start of the text. Enter the required text and in this case, MIDI. Now press Ctrl plus zero to zoom out to actual size and view the changes at the proper resolution. Save the changes and then close Paint.net. Back in the Theme Editor, click on OK to keep the changes and the Theme Browser updates to reflect the edits. Save the theme, but remember to make sure it isn't already in use within Sona. Now open the theme in Sona to see the changes made in context. 